Hey John, have you heard about the new promotion that our company is offering? Yes, I have. I'm so excited about it. I've been working hard to get promoted. Me too. I think I deserve a promotion because I've been working long hours and putting in a lot of effort. That's great, Anna. But I think I deserve it more because I've been working smarter, not harder. Oh really? I think I've been working pretty smart too. Well, have you been using the Pomodoro technique to manage your time? The what? Sounds like a fancy Italian dish. Huh. No, it's a time management method where you work in 25-minute intervals and then take a 5-minute break. It's been helping me stay focused and productive. Ah, I see. Well, I've been using the just keep swimming method. I just keep pushing forward until I get things done. That's a good one too. But I think I'm still ahead of you in the promotion race. We'll see about that, John. Game on. Okay. Game on. Hey Anna, did you hear the good news? Good news? What good news? I got promoted. I'm now the new manager of our department. Wow, congratulations John. That's great news. Thanks. I'm really excited about it. But don't worry, Anna. I'm sure you'll get promoted soon too. I hope so. I've been working really hard for it. I know you have, Anna. But don't worry, there's always next time. Plus, you know what they say, behind every successful man, there's a surprised woman. Huh, John. I think it's supposed to be, behind every successful man, there's a supportive woman. Oh, right. My bad. Well, either way, I'm sure you'll get promoted soon too. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. And hey, now that I'm the boss, I can finally give you that raise you've been wanting. Really? That's great news. Just kidding, Anna. I don't have that kind of power yet. But I promise I'll put in a good word for you with the higher-ups. Ha, huh, thanks John. I appreciate the thought. You know, John, I'm really happy for you that you got promoted. But I have to admit, I'm feeling a little disappointed that I didn't get it too. I understand how you feel, Anna. But don't worry, your time will come. You're a hard worker and you definitely deserve it. I know, but it's just frustrating. I feel like I've been working just as hard as you, but I didn't get the recognition. I guess you're right. It's just hard not to feel a little jealous. You're right, John. Thanks for being so supportive. And hey, if you ever need a new assistant manager, you know who to call.
Ah, uh, I'll definitely keep that in mind, Anna. But for now, let's just focus on celebrating my promotion. Drinks on me tonight. Congrats again, John. Cheers to your promotion. Thanks, Anna. I'm really grateful for it. You know, I'm happy for you, but I can't help but feel a little left out. Hey, I get it. But don't worry, Anna. Your hard work won't go unnoticed forever. It's just frustrating, you know. I've been putting in all this effort and it feels like I'm not getting anywhere. I understand. But remember, it's not all about promotions and titles. You're still doing important work here, and you should be proud of that. You're right, John. Thanks for reminding me of that. Of course, Anna. And hey, maybe we can brainstorm some ways for you to showcase your skills and talents more effectively to the higher-ups. That's a good idea, John. Maybe I just need to find new ways to stand out. Exactly. And I'll be here to support you every step of the way. Thanks, John. You're a good friend and colleague. Anytime, Anna. Now let's finish these drinks and celebrate together. Hey John, can we talk for a minute? Of course, Anna. What's on your mind? Well, I've been thinking about my career path here, and I really feel like I'm ready for a promotion. That's great, Anna. I'm happy to hear that. The thing is, I don't think I want to work under you anymore. I think I'm ready to take on more responsibility and have my own team to manage. I understand how you feel, Anna. But the truth is, there aren't any open positions for a manager right now. I know, but I really feel like I'm worth more than just being a member of your team. I have a lot of valuable skills and experience to offer. I agree, Anna. And I'll do everything I can to help you grow and develop your skills. But for now, I need you on my team. I understand, John. But I hope you can see where I'm coming from. I just feel like I'm ready for more. I get it, Anna. And I'm proud of your ambition. But let's not forget that being on my team also comes with a lot of benefits. You'll have opportunities to learn from me and work on high-level projects. That's true. And I do appreciate all that you've done for me so far. I just hope that when the time comes, I can move up and take on a bigger role. I'm sure you will, Anna. And when that time comes, I'll be the first one to congratulate you. Until then, let's keep working together and making our team the best it can be. Sounds good, John. Let's do it. Hey Anna. Thanks for staying late and working over the weekend. You're really putting in a lot of effort. No problem, John. I'm just trying to show that I'm ready for more responsibility and a bigger role. I see that, Anna. And I appreciate your hard work. 
But remember, it's important to take care of yourself too. I know, but I just feel like I need to prove myself. I want to be promoted and have my own team to manage. I get it, Anna. And I believe in you. But let's not forget that it's not just about working hard. It's also about working smart and being strategic. I know, John. And I'm doing everything I can to show that I'm a valuable asset to the company. That's great to hear, Anna. But don't forget to also take some time for yourself. Go out and have fun, relax, and recharge. You're right, John. I should do that. But I just can't help but feel like I need to be constantly working and proving myself. I understand how you feel, Anna. But sometimes, taking a step back and focusing on yourself can actually make you more productive in the long run. You're right, John. Thanks for the advice. I'll try to take some time off and recharge. Anytime, Anna. And remember, you're already doing great work here. Don't forget to celebrate your accomplishments along the way. Thanks, John. I appreciate your support. Let's keep working together and making great things happen. One year later. Hey John, congrats on the promotion to director. That's amazing news. Thanks, Anna. I'm really excited about this new opportunity. You deserve it, John. You've worked so hard and accomplished so much here. Thank you, Anna. And I couldn't have done it without your help and support. Yeah, I'm sure you'll miss having me as your underling, right? Of course not, Anna. You're still an important member of the team. I know, I know. I'm just teasing. But seriously, I'm happy for you and excited to see where this new role takes you. Thanks. Anna. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one getting promoted next. We'll see about that, John. But for now, let's celebrate your success and keep working hard to make this company even better. Agreed, Anna. Cheers to that. Hey John, I want to congratulate you again on your promotion to director. You really deserve it. Thank you, Anna. I'm really excited about this new role. I can tell. You're practically glowing with pride. Yeah, I am pretty happy about it. I mean, it's not like you got promoted twice in one year or anything. No big deal. I know, I know. It's been a good year for me. But you know, Anna, you've been doing great work too. Thanks, John. I appreciate you saying that. But it's hard not to feel a little frustrated sometimes, you know? I know, Anna. And I understand how you feel. But remember, promotions aren't just about hard work. 
There are a lot of factors that go into the decision making process. I know, I know. It's just hard not to take it personally sometimes. I get it, Anna. But don't forget that your hard work and dedication haven't gone unnoticed. And who knows, maybe the next promotion will be yours. Thanks, John. I appreciate your optimism. And congratulations again on your success. Thanks, Anna. And don't worry, I'll save a spot for you on my team when you finally get that promotion. Thanks, John. I'll hold you to that. Hey John, I've been thinking about what you said about promotions not just being about hard work. Can you tell me more about what you meant? Sure, Anna. What I mean is that promotions aren't just about putting in long hours and working hard. It's also about being strategic, taking on new challenges, and demonstrating leadership skills. I see what you mean. So it's not just about quantity, it's about quality too. Exactly, Anna. And it's also about having a vision for the future and being able to communicate that to others. That makes sense. I guess I need to start thinking more about the big picture and how I can contribute to the company's goals. Yes, Anna. And don't forget to also focus on developing your skills and learning new things. That can really set you apart from others and make you a valuable asset to the company. Thanks for the advice, John. I always appreciate your insight and guidance. Anytime, Anna. And remember, it's not just about how hard you work, it's about how smart you work too. Got it, John. I'll try to work smarter, not just harder. That's the spirit, Anna. Let's keep making great things happen. Hey Anna, I've been doing some thinking about what we talked about last time. And I wanted to give you some more advice on working smarter. Sure, John. I'm all ears. What do you have in mind? Well, one thing I've found is that it's important to prioritize your tasks and focus on the ones that will have the biggest impact. Okay, that makes sense. So I should be focusing on the tasks that will make the most difference to the company. Exactly, Anna. And another thing to consider is delegation. If there are tasks that someone else can do, it's often better to delegate them so you can focus on the tasks that only you can do. I see what you mean. That way I can free up more time to work on the things that really matter. Yes, Anna. And don't forget to also take breaks and recharge your batteries. Sometimes taking a step back can actually help you be more productive in the long run. Thanks for the advice, John. I really appreciate it. No problem, Anna. Just remember, working smarter is often more effective than working harder. Got it, John. I'll try to be more strategic in my approach. That's the spirit, Anna. And who knows, maybe the next promotion will be yours.
One year later. Hey John, though you should know it earlier than me, I have a great news to share with you. Anna. Congratulations. I got promoted to the position of manager. Yes. You are well deserved. Thank you, John. And I just wanted to say thank you for all your guidance and advice on working smarter. I really took your words to heart and focused on prioritizing and delegating tasks, and it made a big difference. That's great to hear, Anna. I'm so glad that I was able to help you. And I just want to let you know that I couldn't have done it without you, John. Your support and mentorship mean a lot to me. You're very welcome, Anna. And I'm proud of you for taking those lessons to heart and applying them to your work. You truly deserve this promotion. Thank you, John. I'm excited to take on this new role and keep working smarter, not just harder. I have no doubt that you will, Anna. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll be the one teaching others the smart way of working. That would be something, wouldn't it? Thanks again, John. I'm really grateful for everything you've done for me. Three years later. John, can you believe it? I'm now the CEO of the company. Wow, Anna. That's incredible. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, John. And I just wanted to say that I couldn't have done it without your guidance and advice. You were the one who taught me the importance of working smarter not just harder. Thank you, Anna. But you're the one who really put in the hard work and dedication to make this happen. Yes, but I wouldn't have known where to start if it wasn't for you. You taught me how to prioritize my tasks, delegate effectively, and take breaks to recharge. Those lessons stuck with me, and they've helped me get to where I am today. Well, I'm honored to have played a small part in your success, Anna. And I have to say, I'm not surprised that you've made it this far. You're a natural leader and a hard worker. Thank you, John. And I just want to let you know that I'm not done learning yet. Even as CEO, I'm still looking for ways to work smarter and more efficiently. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Anna. You're always striving to be your best and make the most out of your time and resources. That's right, John. And I have to say, I'm grateful to have had you as a mentor and a friend all these years. Likewise, Anna. It's been a pleasure to watch you grow and succeed. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be the one giving advice to a young, ambitious colleague. You never know, John. But one thing's for sure, I'll always remember the lessons you taught me about working smarter and achieving success. Hi all, do you think I am a good boss? Do you think I will be the successful CEO? Please write your comment. Thanks. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel and watch more videos from our channel.